welcome everyone to never alone channel remember that jesus will never leave you nor forsake you these days we have been um, learning the series of the importance of writing today we have a new uh, portion and a new person in the bible in front of whom this writing was written and we'll see why the writing is so powerful if you have your bibles with you let's turn to daniel book of daniel chapter 5 verse 5 let me read it for you in the same hour the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote opposite the candlestick on the plaster of the wall of the king's palace and the king saw the part of the hand that was writing in chapter 5 we can read about uh, the king uh, belshazzar uh, one day he thought okay let me make a feast to all my uh, nobles and so what he did was he drank wine in the presence of the thousand belshazzar bible says that while he tasted the wine he gave orders to bring the gold and silver vessels which his father nebuchadnezzar had taken from the temple which was in jerusalem now i am reading this words is because i want to make an emphasis why this hand writing was written on the wall this writing was written by an unknown person it's jesus himself and uh, we know that this was written in front of belshazzar the king it was no problem for him to have the feast but it was really a sin before the lord and disobedience before the lord because he ordered the vessels from the temple of jerusalem to be brought into this big feast there were all many kinds of uh, unruly nobles who didn't know about god and uh, they were untruth and they were not loyal people and they were not even uh, trusting god in this party in this feast he is bringing the holy vessels and he is just drunk and he is enjoying the feast what is the spiritual application we are not called to do what we are not supposed to do we are called to do what we are called to do we are supposed to obey the scriptures we are supposed to obey the lord yes we are in different culture yes we have uh, different nationals we uh, try to mingle with a lot of people but we cannot compromise with the divine principles we cannot mix the divine principles with the man made cultures holy things are holy unholy things are unholy we cannot bring those together so in your life in your family life in your ministry in your business do you have such kind of compromising things among unholy thing you have to be very careful and i have to be very careful and we need to repent about it immediately that's what the lord is giving the message to us through the lesson of this king this king is a son of nebuchadnezzar but uh, he didn't follow 
the way of the Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar actually, uh, at the end of his life, he uh, uh, you know becomes the believer. Like he proclaims, saying that everybody should obey the Daniel's God. And so this Belshazzar, because of the prosperity and everything, his heart was you know. Um, was full of arrogance and he was full of pride and he didn't want to honor God. When God blesses us, when God blesses us and prospers us, we should be very careful to maintain our prosperity. And this king didn't do that. He brings all the holy vessels and he made all the people and nobles to drink out of the holy vessel. That is the time that God himself comes with his hand and there was a writing on the wall and that was very simple if you can read that whole chapter we can see that that writing said this God has given you this kingdom and you didn't honor him and therefore your kingdom will be divided and you were brought low in the measurement of God and your enemies will come and take over your kingdom. In the same night, we can see that the enemies came into the palace of Belshazzar and they killed him. And then the next king comes into the room. So the writing on the wall became true just in one night. What does it tell to us? Dear God's people, when God has given you something to write, write it down. Even God said to Moses, write it down on the stones, on the tablets. And God told to Habakkuk, write it down, your vision and your dream, because that's going to come to pass. So when you write down the promises of God and the dreams and visions that God has given to you about your business, about your health, about your ministry, about your profession, I don't know what not. God is uh, prompting you to do that, do it. Because when you write it, you are you you really know that it's going to come to pass. That's how serious writing is. And that's how serious the blessing is going to come. It's so blessed to write it. So when you write it, you will see the blessings of God following you. May God bless all of you through this word. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for your word. Yes, Lord Jesus, what was written in front of the king came to pass within a day. And the same way, Lord, Lord Jesus, you are prompting many of God's people who are listening to this message, maybe about their ministry or about their personal life, about their profession, about their family, or about their work or business. Lord, you have spoken to them uh, many days uh, before, but they have forgotten. But Lord, remind them back again to them, Lord, so that uh, they can write it and declare it and they can see that everything that they have written has come to pass in their life, Lord. Bless everyone indeed. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. My May God bless all of you. And remember, Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. You've been watching Rays of Peace Ministries. Thank you for tuning into Never Alone program. If you need prayer, call to the number on the screen or email to Pastor Mark Jackamar at hotmail.com. Visit our website www.raysofpeace.com for more information.